Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a comparison video between the TNA TNA Butter Biker Shorts, TNA Slick, and the Lululemon Align Biker Shorts. If you guys watched my previous video, my Air Pro Lululemon haul, I recently purchased my first pair of Lululemon Align Shorts in the color white and I absolutely loved it. It was perfect, I love how opaque the color was. Um, but I don't know, I just thought that if I'm going to be spending $58 on a pair of shorts, I should like explore my options first. You guys know that I love comparing Lululemon to TNAs, so I decided to compare them again. Um, so yeah, I'll start with the TNA ones first and I'll start with the TNA butter ones because these are the ones that I read in the review section that felt the most like the aligns. A lot of people are saying that these are the perfect aligned dupes. And from just touching them, I feel like, yes, they're definitely very brushed and very soft. It's almost there, but I think this feels a bit sleeker than the lines, um, which kind of reminds me of the Wonder Train material. Mm, yeah, I feel like this reminds me of the Wonder Train material more than the lines, which I have no problem with. This is like more than soft enough in terms of like how it feels on the body. It feels really great. And what I really love about these are the length. The length is a seven inch inseam, which I absolutely love. I think this works so much better than the six inch inseam because when I was wearing the six inch one, my Lululemon one, I feel like with a six inch inseam, after I walk around a bit, after it rides up a bit, and if I were to be wearing like a t-shirt that's a bit longer than usual, I almost get into the situation where I look like I'm not wearing pants. So in this case, I think the seven inch is perfect on my height and I'll have all my stats and my height in the description box below. Overall, in terms of comfort, there's nothing I can complain about. These feel very comfortable on the body, but because I was looking for a pair of white shorts, these ones didn't work because unlike the lines, these are not double lined, only the waistband is double lined and the body of the shorts itself is just single lined, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why any brand would ever come out with a pair of white shorts and not having a double lined. Um, so in the try on, you'll see that there's an obvious color difference between the, um, the waistband and the body of the shorts, which makes it look super awkward unless you know you will strictly only be wearing this pair of pants um, under like a long shirt where you won't be able to see this. And since it is only single line and it is in a light color, it is absolutely very easy to show your underwear line. So obviously you have to wear nude underwear, but even when I try to pair this with like a nude thong, it still kind of shows the lines of your underwear just because it's just that unforgiving. But I feel like if you wanted any darker colors or maybe even just like any color that's not white, these ones are absolutely a dupe for the Lululemon ones. Well, I'm sorry, that was totally a fail. The cameras totally did not pick up the color difference between the waistband and the shorts, but just trust me, there is a huge color difference and it will totally pick up every single dip or cellulite or anything that's on your leg, making it very unflattering. And we're moving on now to the TNA Slick biker shorts. I think the slick line is one of their newer lines. TNA only had TNA Life and TNA Butter. And I don't know when they came out with a slick one. The reviews um, are really good, but there isn't many reviews. But for the little amount that are there, they are really good. And the funny thing is, is that I got both of the TNA ones in a double extra small size. And the butter one fits perfectly. It was great. But for some reason, for the slick one, um, I couldn't even get them past my thighs. I think I was only able to pull these a bit past my knees and just couldn't get any further. I tried wiggling around in it for like a few minutes and finally I got them up to um, where it's supposed to. And I don't think I want to do it again for the video just in case I break it and I can't even return it anymore. It's just crazy like how unstretchy these are. Like I even compare the sizes of the two TNA ones in terms of like the sizing when you compare them, they look exactly the same. But I guess the sleek ones are just really that unstretchy. So yeah, like basically the only thing that I remember feeling when I had these on was that they were really tight. <laughs> and they're also only single line, so it was definitely see-through when I had this on. So if you are looking to purchase this shorts, I think you should at least like size up one size or even two size. I really don't, like I really don't get it. But looking at these shorts, they look like they're really well made. They're definitely made out of a much stiffer and much more technical kind of fabric. This reminds me of the Wonder Under by Lulu. You know what? I think I'm going to pick up a pair of the TNA Slick ones in a black color. 
just because I think for the price, the construction of these are really good. You know, usually these kind of like slippery and technical fabric don't really collect fur, so which allows me to wear something black. Do we even need to look at the Align shorts? I feel like everyone is pretty familiar with them. Um, but since we've talked about it so much, I'll just quickly show it here again. The Align shorts is great, especially if you're looking for a lighter color or a white color because it is double lined, making the shorts much more forgiving in terms of like what kind of underwear you want to use. And also it doesn't create that awkward color difference between the waistband and the body of the shorts. And I'll do a squat test here just to see if they're actually squat proof or not. If they are, that would be awesome. So yeah, in conclusion, I feel like if you're not looking for a light color or a white color, definitely go with the Lululemon dupe, which is the TNA butter ones. Unfortunately, if you are looking for a white color or like a light color, you might have to pay for the Lululemon markup. And if you are looking to pick up one of these more technical and slipperier fabric, um, make sure you size up in the TNA slick ones. And yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and I'll see you guys soon next time. Bye.